What if I told you that in 1935, a scientist accidentally stumbled upon the secret to living longer by basically starving lab rats? And no, this isn't a WhatsApp forward from a family group. So it's story time. I'm going to delve deeper into how one cognitive professor stumbled upon something that would obsess billionaires, biohackers, and your gym bro cousin who will not shut up about intermittent fasting. It's the 1930s and it's the Great Depression and Clive McKay is in his lab studying about nutrition in rats. I'm not going to blame him. What would anyone in the 1930s do? But anyway, he discovered something really bizarre. He basically saw that rats that were eating 30% less were surviving 50% longer. Now, before you throw your lunch tapa away, hear me out. These weren't skinny rats. They were healthier, they were more active, and they were basically like the Brad Pitt of the rat world. They were aging like fine wine. We're going to fast forward through decades of research where people were researching about the same phenomenon in monkeys, fruit flies, yeast, and researchers were trying to crack the same code in multiple different species. By 2000, Silicon Valley tech pros were basically measuring every morsel they eat. Japanese folks were practicing something called Hara Hachibu, which is eating until 80% full. Now, after hearing all of this, your neighborhood auntie's advice of pet me jaga chodke khana does not sound too outdated anymore. Today, we've got intermittent fasting apps, OMAD warriors, and people treating their eating window like it's a secret ritual. From Okinawan centenarians to longevity researchers, everyone is dancing to McKay's 90-year-old tune. It's just come with better terminology now and definitely better PR. The next time someone judges your small portion at a wedding buffet, just tell them that you're following a cutting-edge longevity hack from 1935.